everyone. This lesson, we mainly study the understanding and prevention of leafhopper pests. Leafhopper is a kind of damage to tea tree, one of the important pests with piercing sucking mouth parts, commonly known as leafhoppers, floating dust, ringworm, etc. Belong to Hemiptera cicadalidae. Leafhopper adult's body is narrow, only 2 to 8 millimeters length, with a color of green or yellow. When stopping, two wings are in the shape of the roof. The top of the head is curved or obtusely horned. The distance between the two compound eyes is long. The antennae are bristly. There are two rows of thorns under the posterior tibial segment. The eggs are mostly banana shaped. The nymphs are light yellow or yellowish green. When they harm tea trees, both adults and nymphs suck the sap of tea trees or bud leaves, and the female adults lay eggs in the tender shoots, resulting in the loss of nutrients in the transport tissue, insufficient water supply, withering of the bud leaves after injury, leaf edges turn yellow and leaf veins red. Furthermore, the leaf tip shrinks and scorches, the growth stops and the bud leaves fall off. There are many species of leaf hoppers that harm tea trees, which is often mixed occurrence. According to the external morphology, combined with the male external genitalia, a total of four genera and eight species of leaf hoppers are identified. It is summarized as Empusca vitis. Small green leaf hopper, big green leaf hopper, tea black leaf hopper, and tea flat leaf hopper. Today, we focus on learning Empoasca vitis. Empoasca vitis, also known as false eyed small green dust and leaf hopper, is distributed in all tea producing areas in China. The Empoasca vitis is one of the most widely distributed and harmful tea plant pests in China's tea regions. It harms the tea trees by absorbing juice as the adult and nymph period, resulting in water loss of tea buds, slow growth, and scorched edges and leaves, resulting in the decline of tea yield and quality. What are the morphological features of Empoasca vitis? The adult worm is light green to yellowish green. There are two green spots on the top of the head, two green circles in front of the head. The compound eyes are grayish brown. The middle chest shield has white stripes. The horizontal carving is straight. The base of the front edge of the wing is dark green, and the tip of the wing is transparent and colorless or light smoke brown. The third end of the chamber is long and triangular. The base of the anterior and posterior veins starts from one point. The feet are the same color as the body, but the tibial end and tarsal are green. The egg is in the shape of crescent and is milky white to light green. The nymph has five years. It turns from opalescent to yellowish green gradually after the initial stage, and the wing buds begin to appear at the third instar. What are the damages caused by Empoasca vitis? The adults and nymphs damage the trees mostly by pricking and sucking the sap of tea leaves, causing the bud leaves to curl, atrophy, harden leaf tip, leaf edge turns red-brown, or making young leaves withered, tender shoots short and deformed, especially seedlings and young plants. New shoots germinated after pruning and table cutting are often killed to death. The female adults lay eggs in the shoot stem, which hinders the growth of tea trees. The summer tea damaged most severe throughout the year. What are the living habits of Empoasca vitis? The insect has 9 to 11 generations a year in the tea areas of the Yangtze River, 11 to 12 generations in Fujian. 12 to 13 generations in Guangdong. In the tea areas of the middle and lower reaches of the Yangtze River, adults generally overwinter on tea trees, and nymphs can often be found in southern Fujian in winter. 
The insects in Guangdong, Guangxi, and Hainan can overwinter, and their generations overlap. The eggs are scattered in the tender stem cortex. In general, there are two population peaks. The first peak is from late May to mid-late July. The insect population was the most concentrated in June, which mainly harmed summer tea. The second peak was from mid-late August to late November. From September to October, the insect population was more mainly harmful to autumn tea, and there was only one harm peak in the alpine tea area. The damage in the tea gardens left behind, young tea gardens, and poorly managed tea gardens occur seriously from July to September. How to prevent and control? There are mainly the following four ways. 1. Protect natural enemies. The main natural enemies of Empuasca vitis are spiders, ladybugs, and other predatory natural enemies, all of which have a certain control effect on the population of Empuasca vitis. 2. Agricultural prevention and control. Strengthen tea garden management. Remove weeds in the garden. Pick them in batches and in time. Prune reasonably. Cut off the young buds of the crown at the end of autumn. All can reduce eggs and worsen nutritional conditions and breeding places. Reduce damage. 2. Color plate trapping. Empuascovitis have a special tendency to certain compounds through their sense of smell. Add these compounds to the trapping core, together with a specific yellow-green to make a pheromone trap board. Hang in the tea garden can lure them to the sticky plate and kill them, so as to reduce the number of their population in the field. 4. Chemical Prevention and Control Know when the nymphs hatch and the early nymph stage. Notice the spraying quality when spraying. The middle and lower leaves of the tea canopy should be all sprayed all over the back. If the population density is high, it should be sprayed again 7 days after the first spraying. To improve the control effect. That is the key content of this lesson. Thank you for watching and learning. See you!